Hello everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to tonight's uh, free video for the futures markets here, Simpler Futures. And um, this is Neil, I'll do the videos tonight. Um, well, welcome to the, the amazing recovery, absolutely incredible. Here we had the, uh, the S&Ps just the other day at uh, 21, oh, well, and adjusted for December, actually 2184. The... Um, the September contract was up in the 8789 area broke to almost an even 2100 which is quite the uh, you know quite the retracement 80 some odd handles or about 4% um, only to then bounce back today significantly well, you can see here if you uh, snap a fib from the uh, most recent high to the uh, 2100 low then to make a 2150 ish uh, retracement back to the mean average over the month you can see here this is a the red line in the middle is a monthly mean average that's a monthly mean average and also an approximate 618 retrace okay pretty uh, pretty impressive also I'll offer you there's one other thing that I want to uh, make you mindful of too on this and that is that here on the flex grid you can see I'll mouse over this fib you can see that that fib is actually a retracement starting back from the uh, October 07 high to the March 09 low that's a 1618 extension at 2156 and that has been on that chart for weeks and weeks and weeks on end something we've been mindful of and spoken of in the uh, trade room for some time now it's been actually a very important level uh, that's that's seen this market pivot a number of times as you can see as you can look back through here actually if I just lay the mouse over the 56 level you can see this literally goes all the way back to uh, the beginning of the sideways trade in the middle of July and um, and we've been talking about it in the trade room since well probably about that long that that was one of the things uh, that was uh, important in the middle of this sideways consolidation for so long at the end of the day here's what I got for you absolutely amazing recovery truly I mean what a break four percent or so from 80s down to 2100 think about it like this every 20 points essentially one uh, percent and uh, to bounce back today back into the 618 retrace um, literally for this thing to which is you know normally what you'd look for is a retracement off of a low like this maybe to make its way back to a, a 382 down to a 236 then up to a 50 and work its way back claw its way back over this session or a series of several few sessions back into a 618 this was done in one day it's truly remarkable um, tomorrow for us to uh, retrace just a little bit back to maybe 41 half 42 ish in this area and that's an important level not only because it's the 50% retrace but that was the September low on um, 8-2 on August the 2nd which was the most recent swing low prior to the resumption of the uh, the bid and sideways trade all right so back into 41 half or so something like that 42 support if uh, if we do pull back uh, support and then we'll look to make our way into the next uh, area target the 786 which I actually adjust to a 79 as you can see here on the chart 79 to put us up around 66 68 that'll be our next uh, next target it's amazing and then from there um, probably pull back a little bit and then we'll be talking about new all-time highs again it's just amazing um, <clears throat> Let me hop off with this and get over to the uh, the premium video because I've got some. Tr we had a crop report today, by the way, crop uh, production, and uh, it had that grains uh, somewhat volatile today, and we've got an idea for a, a long wheat, short corn spread uh, trade over there. And um, other than that, I'll look forward to being with you again at the next update. Hope this helps. Be with you again uh, tomorrow night. Take care.